Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Adventures of Foxfoil. Today, we are starting out doing something a little bit different in that we are going to be going over what we are doing in today's episode. So to start out, the first step that we're going to do is to do some cleanup after our last project with the Villager Trading Hall. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get cleaned up, a lot of resources and chests, and those got to get moved to the storage system. The second thing that we need to do is we got to do some finishing details on the villager trading hall, get a door in place, get the path set up. So we're going to do that as the next step. And then the last step that we're going to do today is we are going to work on a castle and it's going to be a ruined castle, kind of expanding on what we did with the tower a few episodes ago, but I'm really excited about that project. So let's go ahead and get started with the episode. All right, so we are by the villager trading hall and this is where we're going to be working. So this is where the door is going to go and fill in this space right here. And as you can see, we've got all this snow that we need to cover up and get a path from the stairs down here and then just so that it's easier to go back and forth because this snow, it's hard to jump around in and we don't want that here. And then we've got the chest over here that we need to clear out because they have a lot of resources and we need to get those into our storage system so that they're not blocking the zombie spawner. And then what we're gonna do is have this space all ready to go so that way it's finished up and nice and clean. All right, I've got everything moved. As you can see, we've just got one chest over here that has some resources that we're going to use for the door, but everything else has been moved. So let's see, so this is what we have. And then I just took it all and put it in our storage system over by the base. Um, so that's all over there now. We won't have to worry about those. But the next thing that we need to do is we're going to get a door in right here to cover up that hole. And then we're going to put a door in finally for our enchantment setup as well. And then we need to get a path to come down through here as well. Cause I've just been jumping around like this this whole time and it's just gotta get cleaned up. All right, here we are. I've filled in the area with stone. So it goes all the way down here to where the enchantment setup is. A nice gradual slope down. And this is so much easier than what I had before. I should have done this a long time ago. And then what I want to do is fill in this space here. And I'll probably use the deep slate tile that we have over here to tie it in and just run it down in a path all the way down here. And then I'm going to take some snow and fill in this space right here to blend it in with the rest of the area. And I think that should look really good. And then we can get started with the door because this hole in the wall, it's not looking good. I don't like it like this. So we need to get a door in place so that way it looks like an actual uh, place to go into and not just a hole in the wall. I went back to get some resources and realized I forgot to tell you guys about my horse here, which I got in the last episode and I was using it when I was going back and forth between our base and the resources in our storage system and the villager trading hall. And I was just using a lot of stamina and eating all the food. And I thought if I got a horse, it'd be a lot better. So I found this horse and I really like him. I think he's a good horse. We're gonna keep him. And so I got a name tag with a name. And so let's take a look here. We've got Cloud Hopper. And I don't know how appropriate the name is because he's not particularly fast or a very good jumper, but he's a good horse and he's gonna be sticking around for a while. So this is Cloud Hopper and we are going to be seeing a lot more of him in the future. And back at the base, what we need to do is get a few more resources that I just didn't grab the last time I was here. So let's get some dark oak. And then I wanna get the shroom lights that uh, I collected while I was getting the warped blocks for the build. And let's see, where did I put those? I forgot to write it down on the chest. Um, I think I put them in the nether one. Let's see, no, not this one. Uh, where did I put it? I think it was over in the nether block one. Let's go look in that. That's gonna be not in here. It's over in the bronze room. All right, this is where it is. Um, let's see, yes, yes, there we are. So we got the shroom lights. So I'm gonna take these because we are going to use these to light up the villager trading hall a little bit more. And I had this idea in between episodes. So I wanna try it out. 
back here in the villager trading hall, I've done the work that I wanted to do to make this space up in the ceiling a lot better. So you see these trap doors right here? I took the shroom lights and put them behind the trap doors. And I think that it works out really well because we've got these lights in the center, which makes it seem like the light is coming from them, even though it's not. And then you can still see the detail up in the ceiling uh, with that. And then over here on this side, there's, I didn't put any shroom lights behind these doors because I wanted this side to be still a little bit darker. I didn't want to really expose this side to the same level of light. And I like how that turned out because it's a light enough that you can tell that the sculpt blocks are up there, but not so light that it just reveals everything. Because I want it to be a little bit shadowy, but not too much. And then in the middle area, you can actually see the detail in the arches that I was working on, which was hidden in shadow um, before. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think that this makes the room so much better. So this room now, I think, is really set to go. It just looks so good. And this space is finally finished up and complete. So we've got the deep slate tiles coming down here to the door into the trading hall. And I have spruce trap doors as the door. And then I took these dark oak signs and they look almost like hinges. So that I'm really happy with how that turned out. Around the sides, we have some of the nether bricks going in to kind of add a little ac accent and a little color. I'm just not sure about these deep slate tiles going around the outside. I think it's close. It's just not quite what I was wanting. Um, I'm going to leave it for now and kind of think about it and see if I can come up with something better. But down here by the enchantment setup, I have a door put in as well with the spruce logs, just copying the design that we have on the inside. It's nothing really um, too different. It just blends in really well. And that is that area. And then I also added in some snow in the corner right here. So you can see there and then a little bit there and right here as well. So we've got these snow blocks and that just ties it in with the rest of the mount. So this space is looking good. I think that we are in a good spot to have this finished up for right now. We'll probably come in and add a few things as we go along. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Our next step is to come along here and add to the tower ruins that we worked on a few episodes ago. I had a comment that suggested adding some walls to put a little bit more context into it so it's not just out here all by itself. And I've been thinking about it and I had some ideas as far as maybe we could add some walls going down into the river and along here and maybe kind of expand it so it looks more like there was a castle that was used to be here and has fallen into ruin and the tower is just part of it. So I think what I want to do is go ahead and work on getting this laid out and then that way we would be able to expand it and make it a little bit more of a backdrop and scenery because we've got this river over on this side which is nice and then we've got the river over here and the peninsula right here just needs a little something extra because this space is pretty plain right along here. So I think if we were to put a castle ruin, it would really add to the scene and really make the context of this area just a lot better. All right, I've laid out a few things here. So we have a tower right here, a tower over here, and then one more tower right here. And then we've got this connected with a wall. We have a central keep here, and I have some ideas. I'll probably add to this. This is just a basic outline for the keep, and it's only a partial structure, um, obviously, because most of it is gone. And then this tower, I have a gap where the wall has gone all the way away, and then that is over here. And then this tower is going to look like it fell into the ocean over there as well. So this tower is probably not going to be as tall as that one is, either. This is going to be a little bit lower. So it's different stages of ruin for all the different parts. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of work on it and finesse it a little bit and get it to just the right stage. So I think what we should do is go ahead and get the time lapse started of the build process. <laughs>
And we are done with the building. I am really happy with how this turned out. I mean, you've already seen it because of the time lapse, but I decided to get up on some scaffolding over across the way so that we can get a good look at it from a distance because I think that that's where it comes out the best. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I mean, look at this. This is something that I've wanted to build for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it and now it's finally here. So just look at these. It just looks just like it's a massive structure that has fallen into decay and ruin. Maybe it was destroyed. Maybe parts of it were taken away to build other projects. It just adds a whole element to the backdrop and it's just gonna really make the scene a lot better from when we're walking around and you'll just see it in the distance. It looks so good. This is what I'm talking about. So I came over here to where our villager, or not where our villager is, but where our woodcutter cottage is. And if you come along here, you'll just see as we come around this corner, it just comes into view and it just adds this whole other story side to this area. I mean, it's just gonna sit in the background. We'll be able to see it from all sorts of angles while going around doing different things. And it'll just be a nice thing to have there to see. All right, enough looking at it from a distance. Let's get a look at it up close. So this is the tower that we added over here on the left. And what I did was I was thinking that these two towers could almost be like where the entrance was. And you could kind of imagine that in between these two towers, there used to be a gate that's kind of just been taken out. Um, and then there would be an arch that goes over maybe. And you have these two doors on either side. Now they're the same height, even though this one is down lower, um, you can kind of tell over here, it's at the same height. And then we've got just, it's filled in. Maybe the dirt's caved in a bit because of different things over time. And as you can see, it's the same height as that one over there. And then I have the same sort of details going around the outside of it as well. And then if we come over here, here's where the main keep is. And I've added this tower in on this side. And then if we come down here, we have the remains of the road going into the main keep with this arch, which only has half of it left. And then coming inside, we've got these pillars here. And you could just imagine that these pillars went up into almost like a cathedral-like ceiling with arches. And then over here is the remains of a window which just kind of just adds a little element there. And then back here, we've got some more pillars that have fallen over. There are uh, just pieces of it left. So that's the main keep. And then over on this side, we've got this tower that has a doorway, but the arch is gone. Um, and it's just got some of the remains from the details going to it. And it just you, you know used to have an arch like the other ones. And then back here is where the walls end and they just fell off into the water. And I just, I like how that came out. And then there's one more tower over there, which is very similar to the other ones. So this is the area here. I think that this ruined castle turned out really well. I'm super happy with it because it's just gonna make this area look like there's so much going on, or there used to be things going on. And it adds just a little mystery to this area. Like what was this castle for? Who could have lived here? It just makes it a lot nicer. Um, and it's just going to make this tower not stand out as something by itself. Sadly, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been great having you here for another episode. Next week, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So you're going to not want to miss that. But until then, thank you so much for being here. It's been great having you. And I look forward to the next time. But until then, see you later.